Watch out for Havoc, he's still out there. There, there, he's right there. Where? Nah, uh, he's outside. W Wrath, watch out. Watch out for Garrett, he's still out there. Oh, there, there, he's right there. Ugh, we lost him. Hey guys, welcome to the Hump Day Show. Alright, yeah. No fanfare from anybody here. That's fine. <laughs> hey everybody. I was we'll holding back. her wiring, but that's cool. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to restart? <laughs> no, it's okay. You can't even see though. There was a reason why I just put them wherever. Oh. <laughs> Anyways. What's up, everybody? I'm Jerks. It's Los. And again, we have this hobo over here, Dina, aka, what was it again? The Rose? DA Rose. I like DA Rose. I like DA Rose too. Like the Rose. No, DA Rose. The Rose. <laughs> <laughs> From The Bachelor. <laughs> From the. Alright, anyways. You aren't getting one. You aren't getting a rose. Anyways, today we're here to talk about our most anticipated games for 2019 for the second half. Cause it's almost June, we're mid-May, fuck man. Yeah, where's the time going? Anyways, I got a speeding ticket to pay for now that I just remembered. Anyways, oh, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> uh, all right, so yeah, we're just basically gonna go over uh, just a couple of games. I think we're gonna do three each and of course do some honorable mentions, but uh, if you wanna kick it off. Oh, right, so yeah. uh, kicking things off my, uh, so we're doing by our favorites to our not so favorites, or are we going like? However you wanna do okay. it, these so are I'm your go... top three. All right, so this is gonna be my top three with my top three being the best one. So the first one is Castle Crashers, the remastered Boo. for the PS4 and the Switch. I personally a am a huge Castle Crashers fan. Okay. Um, I was the Fire Knight, <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, what is it, Castle Crashers? I don't know so what Castle Crashers is. It's basically uh, like a game where you just like fight. Yeah, did you ever visit the Newgrounds, New Undergrounds or something like that? Newgrounds? Yes, Newgrounds, and right? I liked it. Underground website. Well, they used to have a bunch of like these Flash games, and one of them was like, it, it, this game kind of spawned it off of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's called Castle Crashers. It's like a team of four, up to four people. Mm -hmm. And basically, you're like little characters, and you're just like, one what of are you? A what fire, was, one of them's a fire knight. One of them the objective was, again? Um, just to beat the bosses of each level. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's pretty entertaining, especially yeah, when you, you play with a lot of people. You can people. play by yourself or you can play with up to four. Yeah. And it starts off with the fire knight, the ice knight, the red, what was the red knight? I don't, I don't know. know. There was, eventually there was a shit ton of them. Yeah, about. there was, but the main but ones But they all have out. like different attributes and stuff. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's okay. really fun. If you fun. like Siege, you'll love this. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, <laughs> it's really fun. Uh, I'll try it out. I mean, I don't mind some uh, couch co-op. I love couch co-op. Yeah, it's And it's funny too. Like, it's funny. Okay. Hey, we probably do a stream of it. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be uh, my first game. Hey, do you, does that have a release date, or you don't know? It just says summer. Summer? Oh, okay. that's so, we're in. I we're, mean, we're, we're pretty in the much midst of almost, summer, so we'll see. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So I go next. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna go with my third most anticipated game. Like you said, we're halfway through the year, so mm -hmm. there's been, already been a bunch of good stuff out there. Resident Evil Two, uh, you know, Division. Uh, you're, I saw you, you're on Monster Hunter again. Oh, yeah, no, uh, yesterday my friends and I, we were like, what, what kind of game can we play on the Game Pass? <laughs> and everybody has Game Pass, and I was oh, okay. like, oh, yeah, we can play Monster Hunter, but we didn't even play, dude. I had a nasty headache, and I was like, I gotta go. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, uh, yeah, I need to get good on the uh, Xbox version, because I'm good on PS4. Anyways, <laughs> um... We're, E3 is right around the corner, so mm -hmm. there's still maybe a lot of announcements that haven't been made, mm -hmm. but we do have some idea of some good, good games coming out this year. Yeah. I'm gonna start off, man, my number three, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Oh, wow. So that's coming out. It's a kind of turn-based RPG. Yeah, I'm so which surprised that you like I that. first got into Fire Emblem kind of late with Fire Emblem Awakening on mm -hmm. the 3DS. Okay. which is one of my favorite games of all time. I put <laughs> uh, maybe a, around 100 hours into that game because it has such good replayability. You can, no, yeah, so. It's like sticky. Fire Emblem Three Houses, they had a direct uh, about it uh, not so long sticky? ago. We have kids. Uh, Guys. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, if I remember Three Houses, they had a direct, they spoke about it a little bit where they did a focus on it for some time. 
It looks like more good Fire Emblem gameplay to me, plus better HD graphics, plus a good story, plus kind of some Harry Potter school kind of stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, it looks really good. So, okay, I'm in for all those things. Um, you know, I some people are kind of doubting it though, hoping it doesn't go straight too far away from the Fire Emblem formula. Mm. Uh, some don't like the anime look of it. I don't know. I'm excited for it. I'm hyped. It comes out July 26th, so it's only like a couple of months away. Right. I'm so excited for it. Uh, I cannot wait. Fire Emblem on my Switch anywhere. Like, yeah, I'm so fucking ready. I'm glad you like that game. Cause yeah. Cool. Yeah, like I said, I got into it on uh, on Awakening. Then uh, they came out with some more on 3DS, which I do have. Now mm -hmm. those didn't grab me as as much as Awakening did, okay. so I'm hoping they go back to that original. Like one of them, I forget what it's called. It was like you had to buy two. It's two different versions. You had to buy both to really get the. That was like okay, this is just a cash grab. Uh, so I didn't like that. Oh, come on. Uh, but see, in Pokemon, you can trade. You and me, it's the same story both ways. For that one, you had to buy both versions to really get the full story, which, oh, okay. okay. Gotta catch them all, though. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm excited for I Fire Emblem Three Houses. I can't wait. Oh, my turn, right? Turn. Yes. Fuck. Uh, all right, my number three for sure is going to be, which is going to be like kind of weird for people that like I talk to, but I kind of like, can I, I can't wait for this one. It's called... The Outer Worlds. Oh, okay. Now, so it's the same people who made uh, uh, Fallout uh, New Vegas. Yes, correct. Which is widely known as one of the best and Fallout. I, and things. I oh, hate you, Fallout. Yeah, that's what it's like. You were like so I hate it. Fallout. But the thing is, is that when I saw the trailer, one of the characters kind of had uh, a look like he was from uh, Destiny. He looked like a guardian. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. I want to play that. <laughs> no, and it's like, very, it looks very story driven. Like, yeah. There's a lot of yeah. like characters in there, good personalities. Uh, you can travel, uh, Gallic, uh, you, you can travel so it's around worlds. It's very similar to the, the Fallout. Like, I'd I say, kind of, I or? think it's more like Mass Effect mixed oh, with okay. Fallout. Okay. And Mass Effect has, I hear, I never really played Mass Effect, but that was really story based yeah. and character driven. This looks like it's more of that. And then you're taking also the but gameplay also Mass of Effect Fallout. was kind of like also decision based too. Correct. Yeah. Like, which so I'm, I wonder if we're this seeing, game is going to reflect yeah. that. Which, I think it is. I think which it is. in the trailer, it did kind of show you, mm -hmm. you, you can decide choose. whether to kill yeah. this person or not. No. Oh. Yeah, so very decision based, branched at branches that lead mm -hmm. to different stories. So I, that's what that was. It, it, I considered it for my top three, but you know these other things trumped it. But I could see okay. why you're. Yeah, you're like I, I, I really want to get into this type of game only because I really, honestly, Fallout series. The only reason I really don't like it is. I feel like all you did was walk around to collect trash and the graphics always look fucking dead. Like they weren't even trying. They're like, here's some dirt, congratulations. Like it just always looks so awful. Like it, I don't see I how disagree. it entice anybody to play. Says the wife of one of the biggest Fallout fans. I know, right? <laughs> I know, like, I just Shout out to Robert. But yeah, for sure, <laughs> this is it. one of the games I'm fully anticipating. Yeah, this no, Outer hopefully. Worlds are good. But again, you should check uh, it out. This game is, doesn't have a release, confirmed release date, but it is like, uh, people are uh, speculating it's going to either come out mid to late 2019. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't be surprised if an E3, yeah, Xbox probably, conference, yeah, E3 they're going to they, okay. they, they show release the release date. Uh, yeah. okay. But all right, number two. Number two, mine is, of course, I'm a huge fan, uh, Attack on Titan 2, the final battle, which is going to be released on the PC, There's another Attack PS4, on Titan. Xbox One, and the Switch, and it has what a release date hell? of July 5th. <laughs> I mean, how can you not be excited? Wait, did you write your, te your list to Robert? Yeah, I texted it to him because... <laughs> <laughs> what, what? Looking for his approval? No, no, no. I just texted Tim so I can pull it up. Okay. My notes were too full. So, yeah. Oh but anywho, God. so. What? All right. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, I'm a huge fan of Attack on Titan, and this is one of the oh, games. Shit. I did play the first game. Oh, did you? Yes. What'd you uh, think? We actually it? bought it for Ruby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I love for it. For Ruby, that yeah. is not a child game. Well, she watches uh, Attack on Titan. Okay, so yeah, what, what did you game. think of the first game? I, I didn't play it. it. I loved it. So, it's like, how, how does it play? What kind of gameplay so is it? So, basically, it's like a, a tw like, 
pretty much like moves, like coordinated moves that you have to release. Mm -hmm. And I love that kind of stuff. I don't know, do you ever remember that game that we used to play, that uh, Buster Groove? Yeah. Where you had to kind of like, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. kind of like that. Okay. And that's what it is. But it's basically. like open world. No, it's, it's not open, open world, world, but you're like in third person. Yes. Mm. Just going around the world and mm -hmm. fighting, right? And fighting Titans. Okay, yeah. fighting Titans. Okay. So, and you do this with your yeah. with the whole... Yeah, you have to. Okay, I wanna, I'm interested it, it, it in training. It gets you into training, too. Like, So first you have to complete the training, and then it sends you out and everything. So I loved it. Might have to find this I, game. Is uh, it on yeah. Switch? Um, I bought it on Xbox. Okay. So <clears throat> that's one. So, the so they're Titan coming 2, out with another one. The only thing is, I don't know if it's going to cover everything, like all the final. But then yeah. again, you don't even know where the anime is going either. Because yeah. in, in the manga, it, it spawns Baka. on and on for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm excited. All I'm right. All right. What's your number two? Uh, one of the most uh, unique lists we've had on this uh, yeah, for podcast. Sure. For sure. Yeah. Just, <laughs> anyways. Uh, no, Bless I like your heart. Uh, my number two. Mm -hmm. uh, and man, there's a lot of good games that are, are announced. Uh, my number two is Ghost of Tsushima. Now, oh, this okay. is a samurai PS4 exclusive game it's made been, by Sucker Punch. There's been a lot of that going on lately. Yeah. yeah. So, PS4 exclusive Sucker Punch. These are the guys who made uh, a. Um, mm, yeah. Sucker Punch. Oh, fuck, I forget the, the name of that girls series. And that, uh, yeah. Insane Asylum, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, Ghost of Tsushima. You're a freaking samurai in the samurai ages. Oh, nice. They showed a trailer of it. Y'all oh, guys should uh, check it out. Infamous. Infamous, thank you. Sucker Punch made Infamous. <laughs> yeah. It's a long-running series that for PlayStation. Yeah. So they're finally getting their own IP. They're going all in, and it looks badass. Y'all need to watch this trailer. Go watch the Ghost of Tsushima trailer because it's fucking beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it'll be up right here. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's your that's your scene right now. It looks badass. As you can see, <laughs> like the 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 world looks nice. The combat looks badass, and the story, it looks like it's gonna have a meaty story. Uh, Cause uh, supposedly you're like a samurai fighting another clan. I don't know, something like that. Um, so yeah, it just, everything about it so much for me is hitting all the right spots. You know, there's those open world games that yeah, have all the stuff, all the missions, but it doesn't have the good story. Then you have those ones that do have good story, good gameplay, but it looks like trash. This one just looks, just is hitting off all the check, uh, check marks, What's check boxes player? for me. What's the player format? Is it like third person? Third person. Yeah, third okay. person, samurai, like just killing motherfuckers with swords, riding your horse. Mm. Uh, man, it just looks so good. <laughs> I'm so hyped for this game. I'm hoping we get an, uh, you know, Sony's not going to be at E3, but I'm hoping they announce a release date. Uh, during that time frame, yeah, because uh, I want to get my hands on this game. You know, uh, they just came out. Uh, you know, PlayStation just came out with uh, Days Gone, yeah, which hasn't been getting the best reviews out it's there. Mediocre. Yeah, so I'm hoping you know Sucker Punch brings you know uh, those PlayStation owners something really good, uh, and I can't wait. I'm so excited for this game on my PS4 Pro, my 4K TV. Ugh. Just give it to me already. I want it in my veins. <laughs> drip it, drip feed it to me. Ivy. I want it all. Yes, Ivy, Ivy it to me. All I right. want it all. Yes. All right. Well, on my number two, just to jump right into it. Uh, again, another game that uh, a series that I never was interested in, but after seeing all the the drama between uh, its head and other people around him, uh, Borderlands Three. Oh. <laughs> I've never, I've never, like, I'm never, like, I never was interested in this game. I tried playing it. I hated the aesthetics. I hated how it fucking looked like a comic book. I tried to get into comic books. I can't get into comic books. <laughs> so when they revealed this, and I was like, hey, this is kind of interesting. Honestly, I think what's drawing me to this game more is that it's going to be like multiplayer. But also, it, they said there's a possibility of it having crossplay as well. Oh. So. They haven't confirmed it, but they haven't uh, like uh, you know shut it down either. Okay. Yeah. So I think that aspect is really drawing me to this game because I do want to get it like on PC and play with my other friends that are gonna get it on consoles and stuff. Okay. So yeah, that'd be cool if I could play with you yeah. on you know with the Xbox One and yeah, like I, I would totally get it if it's crossplay. <clears throat> you know, you well, have I, to. Get I that. have all the consoles pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I mean, on top of that, this game again, it does have that 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 uh, comic book aesthetic to it again. But of course now with all the 
upgraded graphics and whatnot. It, it looks, doesn't. It, it doesn't so look as shitty okay. as it was in the past. It looks good to me. And I mean, like, so really you're kind of like a visual kind of player. Yeah, like from the looks of it. I mean, it's some. It's more like the the type of like uh, uh graphics or the type of like uh, art style they go for at okay. times i don't it doesn't grab my attention ah, okay so yeah, it, the art style. like the game can be crappy and have good graphics whatever and that can, and like have like a style that i like and i'll be like okay this is okay but the game could be like okay or decent uh fallout and like have like the shit style to it I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'll pass. I love the graphics. But yeah, for this I game, for sure, really like, I, I, I kind of want to play this, like, now. Okay. Uh, I was thinking about buying, like, the Borderlands 1 and 2 because I think they re-released them, remastered or re yeah. uh, HD, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was like, $30 each. <laughs> oh, no, you're good. I'll pass. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I can't wait for this. Yeah, so, uh, um, Borderlands 3 looks cool. It uh, does, it if, does. You know, it's one of those games, like, I feel like, yeah, if you play it in co-op, it's a lot of fun playing with games. Mm -hmm. Uh, Borderlands kind of is like they're not the ones to begin it, but they kind of perfected the loot system. The looter that, shooter. The looter shooter that everybody else kind of. Uh, went well, supposedly behind they were the ones, like original ones, that did kind of that. You know, well, Diablo did looting mm -hmm. uh, beforehand. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, so there has been games before, but they just their formula oh, was mean. really good. Yeah, I see what you mean. And so you know, these are guys know what they're doing when it comes to lo looter shooters, like you say. Yeah, and, uh Yeah, so I'm, 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 I'm just like you. I haven't done tried one or two. I, I'm really considering three. Yeah, this game comes out September 13th. Cool. But all right, so we're down to our last ones, our number ones. Yeah. Uh, let's do some honorable mentions. Honorable Okay. Go. So I'm going to go ahead and go with Strange Stranger Things 3, the game. Okay. Then that one's going to be available on the PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch mm -hmm. with the release date of July 4th. Yeah. And that's going to be too on uh, at E3 because Netflix is having their own little thing too. Even more exciting. So I think and, it's great. I have yet yeah. to see if maybe the storyline is going to be all unique or maybe it's going it to branch does, off. No, I think it's going to follow along the, the Okay, so but, the, the but you're like, three. but the levels, everything looks, it's top down, like, uh, like pixelated yeah. yes and, and i really like mm. it i like, I like the it. kind of style they're going for i like i mean i'm excited to also to try it out and especially yeah. on the switch on the go you mm -hmm. could just play it do, 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 do a couple of levels you, they have you know in all and the it's characters coming out right on time because we're we're gonna do a road trip to florida so yeah mm -hmm. and, oh and, and i believe it comes out the same day that the new season comes out yes. uh, uh, so it's the same day you get the <clears> game <throat> and you get the 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 series coming out the only so. one you want to put on there yeah, that's all okay, that's all what about you? Yeah, I only have one honorable mention I okay. wanted to do. Well, I mean, there's do a three of each. No, 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 no. no, no. Ah, okay. No, my honorable mentions. I mean, I, I'll put Pokemon Sword and Shield there. Okay. Oh, um, I thought that you were gonna put that. I thought that was gonna be your number one. It's not. It's not <laughs> because I still, I am a little uh, down on it because I wanted more. Now yeah. we st we've only seen one trailer, really, mm -hmm. a couple of trailers. So I, I want to see more before I get more hyped about it. Yeah. Um. Another, my main honorable mention though is Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, oh yeah, um, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm really hyped about that game. I mean, it, it would have been on my list, but I want. I'm I'm not 100. percent It'll even be 2019. Yeah. Because we haven't really gotten a release date. I'm yeah. hoping it's 2019. But if it is, oh man, that immediately jumps on my top three, no doubt. Um, it's yeah, it looks super badass. Um, yeah, Cyberpunk. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll add that to my honorables. And also, I'm putting in Battletoads. I'm Battle putting in, I'm putting in oh Lu Luigi's Mansion 3. Okay. okay. And yeah. I'm putting in the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah. Now, they, they haven't, cool. like, a fully given, like, a release date for that one. But now that they did the state of play where they showed a lot of the new gameplay. Mm -hmm. And then they said there's going to be more coming out in June, which is uh, Square Enix has their own event in E3. So... We're probably gonna see a release date then. Probably at the end of the year, we'll get it. Yeah, maybe. Uh, but bear in mind that's kind of like a. I believe that game's coming out in multiple parts. Yeah, it's episodic. Yeah, so we might get the first part this year. Yeah. Hopefully, get the next part okay. sometime next year. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, uh, I, I'm. Do y'all necessarily like games like that, or y'all wish the games were all released all? I ages? want. I'm, I don't think I've ever played a game like that. I think yeah, Hitman is I. like that. I would want the game to be uh, Final Fantasy. To the be, Telltale games are like. That. Yeah, okay. to be in one. Actually, no, I'm a liar. Yeah, I did play. But I don't think Walking it's going to be one. episodic. I think it's different, like part one, part two. Okay. I think mm -hmm. that's what they're going to do. I wish it was all in one because mm -hmm. I am excited to try out Final Fantasy VII Remake. I've never played it. I've never played it either, but it looks yeah. badass. So yeah. I'm excited to try it, but whatever. If, if it has to be part <laughs> one, part, I'll probably just wait for part two to come out and just 
do it get all, it all together. Okay. All yeah. right. All Hang right. On. So no, no, no. I guess that's it. Let's get down to the number one. All right. Let's number do it. One. This is it. This is our most anticipated games in 2019. Da. I'm gonna do a few points for this one. The base. Oh no, please. Monster don't. Hunter World Iceborne expansion. <sighs> all right. You have the most <laughs> random list. I love Monster Hunter. <laughs> yeah. I love the whole aspect of the game. Mm -hmm. The Palicos. Everything's awesome, I and what trick. makes it even more like hyped up to me is that this is the game that I can play with Ruby. Uh, okay. Yeah, no doubt. So for sure, like me and her, we team up. Um, I usually play it on the 3DS, but we actually do have it for the Switch as well. Oh. So this is one of the games I'm super excited. I'm super hyped up. I know it's just an expansion, but either way, it, it brings a whole new territory, whole new monsters. No, but that's what we were talking about. They yeah. supposedly it's supposed to be bigger than the base game. I know, and I'm excited. So yeah, for sure. I'm excited Monster too. Hunter. I'm a big on the Monster Hunter. Man, I, I tried. Man, honestly, yesterday when I was trying to play it. I was like, man, I hate that it takes so long to do anything in this game. Ooh. Like, like when you switch your weapon to yeah. another weapon, and then like there's a cooldown, and then once you attack, and it's like, all right, let me reload this. It, 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 it has a steep it, learning curve. Kind of like, and then you, the beginning. Actually, I suck at it. So Ruby's like the bomb. <laughs> yeah, I'm, a, I'm horrible. So at Ru it. I follow Ruby's lead. Yeah. And so it's kind of like in some ways like turn based. So they have mm, to go, mm -hmm. then you have to go, yeah. then they have to go. I would 100% agree with that. Yeah. So I would say approach it kind of like, yeah, like that. No, and Monster Hunter World takes a couple of, a lot of hours to yeah. actually get to the meaty part of the game. Yeah. So, oh, but speaking of that too, like they have so much stuff in the game where you have yeah. to collect and then you have to like, a craft, and then you have to like, uh, I don't know. It was go just, it's a, a lot. It's, go it's, home and unpack it's it. A, it's a lot <laughs> to it. Like, honestly, yeah, it like, is, it like is. I pop into the game yesterday. I was like, what the fuck was I doing? How do I start a mission again? Why the hell is this stupid thing following me around? And why is this pig trying to attack me? Literally, a pig came up to me in the little like outpost yeah. area and started kicking my ass. Don't pet it too much. It doesn't like it. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but hey, I'm excited for my yeah. Monster Hunter 2. You said, <clears throat> like you said, a new territory, new stuff, like just. You know, they're still having events. It's still cool to jump in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I do want to level up on Xbox to to play with you. Okay. That's a one game where I wish have cross 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 platforming. platforming. Oh, okay. So you know we can, but it doesn't every you know. But uh, yeah, I'm excited for so it. So what's your number one? All right, so my number one. I know I was talking about. Oh, I haven't seen too much of it. Oh, I want to see more. Well, we haven't really seen anything of this game. I'm hoping that changes in E3. Animal Crossing. Oh my god. Animal freaking crossing on my switch. I cannot wait. Yeah, I've been. I was, I was expecting something like. Yeah. yeah. Right. What? Oh, yeah. Animal Burr, Crossing Burr, is Burr. big. Yeah, Animal like, Crossing is huge. Animal Crossing. Been playing got, it on the GameCube. I got a side instead of the main course. Dang. GameCube <laughs> came out on the came out on the DS. <laughs> came out on the 3DS, which I still hop in ever so often to you know clean my town up. It's just one of those games that you could just go in there, mess around. I'm sure it's gonna have like badass online where you could go into other people's towns, yeah. play around. You know, me and my wife could have our own houses in my town. Oh, this is why. Like, That's this, it's gonna be badass. It's just one of those games where you could just pop in every day. I can't wait. Is, it's, is this like one of the games that Lady does play with you? No, not yet because I've only had it on the 3DS, so uh, she hasn't. But I'm hoping this is where she can like hot, finally get into like Animal Crossing. And play with me, and we can send each other letters and presents and notes. Re rekindle that fire. <laughs> yeah, re it's gonna Things rekindle our marriage. It's gonna save our world. marriage. <laughs> Animal Crossing save will our save our marriage. marriage. <laughs> <laughs> so right, I can't man. wait. I mean, I've always, I've always loved Animal Crossing. I can't wait to see what they do with the Switch, with the capabilities of the Switch. I can take it on the go. I can play it at the house. I'm just so hyped for it, and I'm hearing that E3 is gonna be all <laughs> Animal Crossing focus. Oh wow! Their whole. Um, you know uh the direct not only the direct but uh the, you know oh, how the they, show floor the show floor is going to be like that. animal crossing they've it done it the last <laughs> couple of years where it's mario odyssey theme it's a uh, breath of the wild theme and i'm hoping this breath of the wild really yeah they did a whole breath of the wild theme for one e3 oh, wow. then they did a mario odyssey theme and i'm hoping this one's animal crossing theme. Right. i cannot wait all right so i guess down to the last one i am number one of course. Uh, <clears throat> all right, my number one for sure is gonna be Star Wars Jedi Ooh, Fallen Order. Oh, okay. nice. Like lately, I've nice. been getting into like these single player type of games 
uh, mostly because it's it's easier because I stream. It's easier to play single player driven games versus like the multiplayer ones, especially if I'm garbage sometimes. <laughs> like I tried playing Fortnite again. Fuck no, man. <laughs> like oh my god, that, literally five minutes into this game, I was ra- I was like raging so hard. Anyways, yes, yeah, Star Wars uh, Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, so this is a respawn game. The guys who make Titanfall. Oh, Titanfall. Uh, so this is one of their games that uh, uh, that EA has uh, the the rights to Star Wars name, whatever. But anyways, that's fucking EA. Um, <laughs> it's almost up. Um, the contract. So, so Titanfall was a really good story driven game in part two. Part one there was no story, just GGs in the chat for that one. But part two story, I literally played this game like I, I just finished playing the story again. It's it's really good. It's really interesting. Uh, the characters in the games and the the way they they created them, it's so good. Uh, so I'm expecting that in Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, I I don't like the look of the main character. I, like I don't know about that one. I'm surprised you're still willing to get okay. into it with that. Well, All because it's considered. respawn and like yeah, I, I, I respawn's proven. respawn has like, Apex Legends as well. Uh, which is a really hit, fun hit game after to hit. Play. Like these guys are like, from my opinion, are like hella underrated. Like yeah, these guys are. are so good. Uh, this team, I don't think it's this team originally anymore. I think a lot of the, the original members that went into Respawn have come and gone. But this is also one of the teams that made like one of the original uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare series oh. or Call of Duty 4, I think. Okay. So these guys have like back, like a lot of history in first person shooters uh, are good with the story because I don't know if you ever played that story. It's actually pretty good in, in the COD games. Uh, so I'm expecting all of this to come to like to this game, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I can't wait. The the cinematic they showed for the release uh, looks amazing. Uh, I think it's slated to release November 15th. So yes, this is one of the games I hope in E3 they show more of. And I just just can't wait to play this one. Yeah, yeah no, I'm, I'm, I want to see gameplay because all we've seen is a trailer. Mm-hmm. I want to see what that gameplay looks like. Yeah. I mean, obviously you're a Jedi who's running from the empire yeah, after uh, this order is, this is between uh episode three and four. Oh, okay yeah, yeah so uh you know you're trying to just stay alive mm-hmm. you're trying to hide your powers so they just they discover that you have mm-hmm. powers because you have to use them yeah. and then the journey starts from there so yeah. it's very i mean i'm excited i want to see what the gameplay looks like i want to yeah. see what lightsaber fight looks like <laughs> uh and yeah, it's uh, story driven, and and respawn, like you said, has proven themselves that they can do good stories. And now they have mm-hmm. Star Wars franchise, the Star Wars license they can mess with. So I think they're gonna finally get the uh, recognition they deserve yeah. uh, right. with coming out with this big game. So I'm excited too. I I, I can't. Yeah, I want to see what 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 they got with this game. <laughs> EA though. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. been fucking up left and right. But anyways, that's been our show today. Thank you so much for everybody for watching and listening. Uh, of course, give us your most intes- anticipated games down in the comments. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button or share button. Yeah. Doorbell button. The bell notification. Subscribe button. There's so many buttons to push. Yeah, so there many is buttons. A lot. But hit them all. The like, <laughs> the subscribe, and the uh, and yeah, uh, of course, uh, you can always find us. Uh, the Real Podcast is on Facebook, on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch. Your mom. I <laughs> got him. <laughs> and yeah, thanks again for Dina stopping by. Thank you. Thank you, Dina. Thank you, Dina. Dina. Da Rosa. Da Rosa. Da Rose. Dina. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Hey, uh, yeah, we'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Okay, bye. And that's the wrap.